Well, I'm uh, I'm back out after me 18 karat gold signet ring the other day, which was a very nice find. So nice, the uh, landowners nabbed it straight off. Whoosh, that's gone. Um, so uh, back out and button. So it's difficult to kind of get uh, you, yourself thinking, oh, people are going to be interested in uh, in seeing some buttons detected after a gold ring, but let's see what turns up. Just had this funny little thing out. I think that might be either wood or... I think that's wood. So, very light. So, what that is, who knows? I don't know what that is. Anybody any idea what that is? Another one of those connector things. And in the hole was some uh, thick old uh, bottle glass. Another little button with a design on. Perhaps floral, maybe a thistle or something. And now a clog clasp. And now a big uh, dandy tomback button, is it? button again is that a looks like the design on that is that a posh clog clasp yeah. a lead disc with a hole in I'm not sure it's a button because a button you'd need more than one hole to fasten it wouldn't you unless there was something else with it like a stick or something so I don't know what that is first coin 1929 penny nice colour a button uh, silver enamelled uh, this is interesting isn't it Could be a, a pot leg, but it's a bit thin, isn't it? At the bottom, would that be a pot leg? It could be. So, uh, you know, you kind of think, could it be a dagger tip? But that's not sharp, is it? Unless it was sharp that edge, just one edge. But. Don't know. Probably a pot leg. But uh, thin in it. Hmm. Born again. Don't normally show lead. Well, obviously, unless it's something. Yeah, but this is a bit strange. There's almost like a hole in it, but it do not go through unless it's healed up and uh, almost looks like there is something there mm. who knows this is a funny thing I thought it was going to be the back of a spoon when I saw that and I uh, thought it might be a silver spoon when it was covered in mud but it, it looks like is that like a a drawer handle but it's quite heavy I don't know what it's made out of. It's, it's quite old, that. That's very strange. I'll get that checked out. Yeah. Bag seal. I think we'll be uh, heading back for a frothy coffee. Just such a short trip today. Second coin. Uh, 28.29. I thought it could be George the Third copper, and it probably is. Um, could have been silver but it wasn't quite sharp enough anyway there we are look at 
size of that bullet. That's a, a big one, isn't it? As long as a well, a bit longer than a section of your finger. It's landed soft, it's not damaged. There's a 19 signal. Button! So this was a 23 I think. I think it's going to be silver. But what is it? Is this a... Looks too thick to be a hammered. Is that a milled coin? Looks early. Right, let's give it a clean and see. It's a very nice coin. Very nice. I think it's a William the Third. Sixpence. But cracker. An absolute cracker. Well, that's not worn into a um, love token. What a beauty. Wow, so that's about 16.95 or four or something. Might even be on, so, uh, is it? It's probably at the top there, the one warm bit. But that is, uh, that is a fabulous coin, that. Really nice. Well, that'll certainly do. I think that's the best one of these I've had. Get in! Back on the buttons! Couple of hawks. Checking me out for dinner. I think this is uh, the connector to uh, pumping up a tractor tyre, isn't it? Just had a really good signal. Perhaps it's shining up off that little bit of gold on there. Bit of gilt on this button. Would have been snazzy in its day on the front, wouldn't it? So you're thinking, what could it be after that William, that really nice condition William uh, sixpence? You think, ooh, could I be in? That was a really nice signal. <laughs>